I'm sure. copying. Thank you. <laughs> I know. This is a unique experience. <laughs> and once you have that question, you can go ahead and close your book if you'd like and just, you know, put it down aside alongside of you so you can grab it after the meditation in case you want a journal. So whenever I do a group reading, I love to give the meditation in order to get everybody to open their heart, to peel off the layers of the day, the layers of stress that we carry, so that we can really have the experience that we're meant to have during that reading. Because if we come in with a closed heart and if we come in with, you know, a, a desired outcome, it puts a burden on what we'll receive. And I want you to be really open so you can have this experience because it's an empowerment, okay? So if you'd like to place your feet up flat on the ground, if you're a yoga girl, you want to sit cross legs, you're absolutely happy to do that. If it's comfortable and you can do it. And so I want you to sit with your spine as straight as you possibly can. And we're going to just do a couple of, a little bit of chair yoga because I love the little movement and shift energy. Just up, back and down with your shoulders. The awareness that you're moving your own wings. You'd be so proud of me, right? This is our massage girl over here, our massage therapist. Mm -hmm. About to hook you up with her. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 We, we have to do the There's a chair behind me. I'm <laughs> 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 I know. I told her all that. I already told her about the rock. Oh, you. <laughs> so let's put our, our palms out, and we're going to put our thumbs all the way up if you can, and then I just want you to kind of wave the energy up, and then you're going to kind of push it back down. So our intention as we're, as we're connecting is that first we're going to clear our own aura, right? We're going to be in alignment with just our own body. We're releasing anything that we've maybe picked up during the day. So I want you to breathe in really deep, and I want you to exhale fully as you're doing this. Place your hands on your lap. How can, who can feel that energy when they're doing that? Just curious. So go ahead and place your palms facing up. You've written your question to the angels, and so now we're just going to open our hearts. So go ahead and close your eyes and begin to relax your body. I want you to feel your sits bone on your chair. As you breathe in, allow yourself to become very present and very comfortable in your own body. Feel your feet as they're connecting to the earth below. And the rhythm of your own breath is where I want you to stay inside your body and when your mind chatter comes in I just want you to follow your breath again so you're following that rhythm feeling your belly rise your chest fill and just allow we're going to use our internal eyesight tonight. and our internal eyesight is is how we follow the breath in. So in the center of our forehead is what we call the third eye, our connection point to seeing spirit, to seeing truth, to seeing the wisdom available in our own life. 
So when you just become aware, as if you're breathing through the center of your forehead, right above your eyebrows, just as if you can take a breath in. And in the center of our chest, you know, it's our heart center, known as the seat of our soul. So allow your third eye, this internal eyesight, to go right to this connection point. And if you're able to connect with the color of purple, as you're breathing in, I want you to see yourself inhaling this essence of purple, divine light, right into the center of your heart. Allow to fill you and pour out with every breath throughout your being. Allows us to be the experience that you need it to be. As your heart opens and fills, you feel a pulse rising and energy. A shift of awareness. And this purple light expands as if it's a string pulling all the way up out the crown of your head, reaching to the heavens. And just like as if you were a balloon, you feel yourself rising. You're safe. You're loved. And I'm calling in your angels. And within your mind's eye, I want you to also call in your angels. Dear angels, please come, surround me with your love and your light. Allow me to experience the energy that the divine has for me. My mind is expansive. My body is open. It's as if this purple that you were seeing is now all around you, encompassing you, holding you, embracing you. And in the palms of your hands are the questions that you have. desires that you're longing for, maybe even the burdens that you've been carrying. Notice your angels are right around you. They're holding you. Your senses tell the story. Your sense of touch, of sight, of hearing, of tasting, of knowing. You're soaking it all in. You are an expansive being filled with divine love and light. You 
Notice your answers are now coming through you. It's effortless. It's a word, it's a feeling, it's a song. Whatever that answer, it is yours. Place your palms right over left over your heart center. Your truth is right here, right now. Feel the easement as you release whatever no longer serves you and allow your angels to take it. Allow them to help you to shift your consciousness, to raise your awareness, to offer you this healing, this moment of peace. All you need to do is allow. All you need to do is be willing. Relax your hands. As you breathe in, become aware of your body, of your spine. of your legs, of your feet, your arms. With gratitude, thank your angels. Thank love for participating with you. And when you're ready, if you'd like to grab your pen and your journal, slowly open your eyes. And allow yourself to come into the present moment. And write down your experience. No matter what the experience was, allow yourself to have a moment without judgment, without worries, without overthinking.